Another common thing you might do is like type and then you might want the distance, which is going to pull over here. And then maybe you want to filter by this other further filtering down, which was the personal that, that, that broke out into the trip purpose, right? So within the trip purpose, I can put that maybe into the filter. Boom, it pulls it down here automatically. So it kind of has this added drop down, but you could put it into the filters. And so now you've got uh, the business personal and the unreviewed, but I can hit the drop down and say, I just want to see like the charity and then, and then filter. Now, obviously the business and personal go, I mean, the business goes away and now you just have the personal breaking out by charity. And then you can do the same for medical, right? If we wanted to do something uh, like that. All right. So just some good data to mess with some pivot tables with. So if I go back on over here and I wanted this, if I was entering this month by month, you might use this data to enter into your software like once a year or help give it to your tax professional. You can organize it this way and just give it to your tax professional and whatever makes sense. Or you might do adjusting entries at the end of the year to kind of get an idea or do an adjusting entry kind of monthly. So let's take this data and do our month, our monthly kind of adjusting entry. So if I look at this, let's filter it this way by just looking at, at May. And then I'm going to say that I, I want to look at uh, the meeting, the meeting with, let's say that we just want to look at the business stuff. So I'm going to say just the business stuff. And so that comes out to our uh, 35.76. And if I multiply that times the rate, that's how they're getting this 23.42 for the rate. Now, hold on. I wanted this for June, the second month. Let's do this for June. So there we have it. So now we've got, uh, and not May. Well, May is still there, just June. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. So so it's just a, 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 a whopping $11 that we're gonna say on the mileage method. So let's do our, our journal entry thing we did before, uh, but now for the second month. So if I go to the income statement and I look at this just for, for 060123, and I run it here. So uh, there's June, all we have are these items in that month. I'm gonna say, let's see this on a classes breakout now. We don't have any classes yet. And I'm gonna do this breakout, basically removing these two amounts or just this one, because that's not deducted under the mileage method. And then I'll add the deduction that we calculated over here for that month which is just the $11. I know they don't tie out because we just randomly put in dollar amounts here, but they would be closer in practice, you would think, because the mileage method, the IRS is trying to attempt it to be somewhat approximating the actual. So if I go back on over, I'm gonna say there's $200 that I'm going to make a journal entry for, removing it for taxes, and then I'll put in the amount we, we can deduct for this month. So I'm gonna go to the tab to the left, plus button and I'm going to make our journal entry again like we did in the prior presentation but this time for the end of June this is going to be a monthly adjusting entry which you might do in practice on a yearly basis if you just want to do it once a year but just to get the idea we're going to say that this is going to be going to auto expense and this is going to be for 200 and then the other side is also going to go to auto uh Wait, not just auto expense. There's an auto tax adjustment. The auto tax adjustment that we set up last time, which is a new account that's just gonna have our adjustments sub account of the auto expense. So what I would like it to do then is reduce the, 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 un, the one with no class. And then I'm gonna make the, this one then be our tax adjustment. So there's our tax adjustment. So this will just be a column by column adjustment. Won't have any net impact on this account because the two will total out and back to zero. So let's save and close it. If I go back on over here, just to check it out, boom. And so now we have our, this, it doesn't have any net effect on the total if we took the classes off. And now this not specified area has been adjusted to account for decreasing the amount that we're not going to be able to deduct on an actual method, keeping the 150 we can deduct. And this is going to be kind of a journal entry so we can see uh, the detail of what we're doing. 
And then I'm going to put on the books the amount that we can deduct just for the second month, which we say in our this 11, 1101. That's what we're calculating, noting that I'm, I had to kind of export it out here to see it because if I look at this report, it's only kind of giving us the summary data for uh, the entire year here, right? We could have a custom date. Let's do the custom date. And this is for June uh, 1st to June 30th. And so there's, yeah, it gives us a custom date. So we can do it that way as well to kind of double check our numbers. We could sort it that way, but it still doesn't give us all the personal stuff. But there it is, there's the 1101. And so we're gonna say, all right, let's enter a journal entry for that one. That's what we get to deduct. And so we're gonna say, all right, this is gonna be 